Hi, welcome to this Excel tutorial video. And today I'm doing a video on how you can use VBA to format data. So let's imagine you've received, um, in this case on screen, I've, I've created uh, just a, a single line of data. So all the way down here in column A. Uh, one line is a question. The next two lines are answers to that question. And what I want actually is I want the question to be in column A and the answers to be in columns B and C. But the way I've received it, it looks like this. And I could, if I wanted to, you know, manually move it and format it uh, in that way. But I want Excel to do it. In this example, I haven't got an awful lot of data, um, but I could have hundreds of lines so I need Excel to do this for me I need, I need to automate it um, just before we get into the, the details of this I'm presuming that you're watching this and you've got an idea of VBA if you don't I've done an introduction to VBA and I'll put a link in the in the chat but I'm not going to go into VBA um, like a beginner I'm going to presume you've got knowledge of VBA so to, to begin with um, I know that Essentially, what I want Excel to do is I want it to take this answer and move it there next to the question. Take this answer, move it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a macro and I'm going to perform that task to see what VBA um, to see what VBA I need to use. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to create a new macro called um, move data. And I'm going to move my data and I'm going to stop it and now I'm going to go to my macros I'm going to look at that so it's on the screen um, and <clears throat> it shows me what I need to what VBA I need to use in order to move the data let me just go back and move this back here. so now what I need is I need to write um, VBA that will loop all the way down these lines and then move the data that I want I want it to move. So first of all let's begin by creating a couple of variables. I want to create a variable to use um, that's going to keep an eye on the line I'm on. So I'm going to, I'm going to use this variable to go down and iterate down lines. I've got another variable I'm going to use that is going to be um, used to, to check what line I'm on. Um, I'll, I'll explain that in, in a second. And I'm going to create a, a string variable that's going to um, it's going to store the value of uh, of the field that I'm, uh, that I'm currently um, highlighting. So I'm going to use that as part of my loop, and I'll ex I'll show you that in a second. So. Uh, before we start doing the loop, I'm just going to give these a value. Um, we're going to start at A1, so I'm going to do um, select and then so. Um, I'm giving both my number variables uh, a number one. I'm then saying, okay, select um, cell A1, which is what that, that line's doing. And then I'm saying now my string variable, give it the value of the active cell. So it's gonna give it in this example, A1. Um, now what I will do, I'm just going to run this and just show you um, it's now going to go, you can see here, it's gone to A1. And right now, S cell is, is empty, but if I move past that, S cell becomes main question one because that's a value in the active cell. So far, so good. Now we're going to do a loop. And the loop we're going to use is a do while loop. And again, I've done I've done um, tutorials on loops, and I'll put the, the uh, a link to that in the description as well. So let's begin with do while S cell does not equal an 
save this tree. So this loop is going to loop as long as S cell has got a value. And as soon as it gets to a cell which is blank, it's going to stop looping. So in this case, it's just going to go tick the way all the way down here. Um, well, that's not entirely true just yet. We, we need to do a little bit more work on it, but generally that's the plan. So we're just going to tick the way down here. Um, in order for the loop to work correctly, I'm going to have to say I loop equals I loop oops, plus one. And now I'm going to say range. In fact, I can just copy these because that's what I'm going to do. And that will, um, I loop will become two. It will then select A2 and then it will make this the value of A2. So if I now run this, you'll see this move all the way down. See to the bottom of there until it got to um, an empty cell and then it stopped. Um, if I run that again, I'll just show you that you can see it ticking away nice on the left hand side so that's pretty good now we need to put the logic in that will move the data so the reason I've got this third variable is I check is it's going to kind of work out whether I'm on a question or whether I'm on answer one or answer two so by default I check is going to be one here and I'm going to make sure that if I check equals one then that's going to be a question line. So let us put a little uh, bit of logic here to say if I check equals one, then what do I want to do? If it's on a question line, I don't want it to do anything. Uh, it's only answers I'm going to move. So if I check equals one, I'm going to say uh, make I check two. Else, if I check equals two, then now I need to start thinking about moving the data. So if I check equals two, I'm on the line below um, a question. So I'm on the first answer. So I'm now going to just take this and I'm going to do Uh, let me just type this all out and then I'll explain what it is in a minute. Oops. If I check equals three, then and it's going to be pretty much the same as this, except it's going to be column C and I need to go back to two. And then I'll say I check equals one. And that will reset that. Right, so what I'm saying here is if I check if I check equals one, it's a question. So don't do anything, just make I check two. Then it's gonna loop again, it's gonna go down the next line. If I check equals two, it's on the first answer. So move um, the current the current selected cell move it to B um, and then the line above and then make I check three then it's going to loop again and it's going to say ah, I check equals three I'm now on the next answer and in that case I need to move it to row uh, column C up two rows because I'm now two further down than the um, question then make I check one then it'll loop again and because there's three lines per question that will make sure that um, it it's, it's you know, finding the answers correctly. So let's just test it. If I run this, so you can see that I check three, it's moved there, and then I go down here. That's a question, so I'm not doing anything with that. But the next one, I'm going to start moving here, and it's going to do that. If I just finish it, all done. However, now we've got all of these lines, all of these spaces. So really what I want to do is I want it to tidy itself up as it goes. So I'm just going to go up to this sheet here. This is the same setup. 
And let's just tweak the VBA somewhat. Um, to delete the rows as we go. So in order to do that, I'm going to leave this top bit the same. Um, what I need it to do is instead of kind of going down um, each row, when it finds an answer, I want it to move an answer, then just delete the row. Rather than moving to the row below, delete the row and in essence bring that row up to where it currently is. So I only actually want to go down the next cell if I'm currently on a question. So I'm going to take this loop and I'm going to put it here because that is the uh, what what gets triggered when it hits a, a question cell. Then um, that's fine because I'm still going to move the value of the first answer to the line above. But this one here, um, because I'm now deleting rows, I only I need to move that to just the line above rather than two lines above. Then. Um, if it's if I check equals one, I don't want it to delete the line. Then I've got this else here. So as part of that else, I'll have it do its um, moving the selections. But then what I want to do is I'm going to make it delete the line at this point. Now I need to work out how lines are deleted. So let's just go back to our Excel and just go down to a row that is blank. If I highlight that row and right click and I choose delete, um, that's what I want it to do. So if I record a macro and do that, if I highlight this row, delete it, and then stop, and I go back to macros, there's the uh, VBA to delete a row. So what I want to do is I want to take that and I want to move it into my else block here. Um, and instead of it saying rows, numbers like that, I'm going to build it using my I loop variable. So it's going to select the row, then it's going to delete it. And then the rest, I think, can stay the same. So let me just do that. Now then, let us try it out. Uh, yep. So I'm just going to tick through. So it's on the question. Um, so now it should move down to row two, which it has. Then it comes in here and it says, right, I'll move that. Then it goes into this little bit that we've just added and it highlights the row and deletes it. Then it doesn't move off that row now. Then it'll go down here and it will move that and then delete the row. And then it gets to the next question. So it says, I don't need to do anything. I'll just move down to the next row. So now that looks like it's working. If I just get rid of that and run it. And there it is finished. So I, I guess the point of this video is that, you know, you, you might have a, a, a need for a solution and the best way to do it would be to use VBA. But if you don't know what VBA to use or how to write it to achieve a particular task, record a macro, do the task, stop your macro, and then go and see what VBA has been uh, written. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it helpful. Um, any comments, please uh, leave them and, I, and I'll reply. Uh, any feedback, it's all appreciated. Thanks a lot for your time. See you next time.